Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of No Man's Sky. So we got that, um, guy back from the quest line. So we should be able to get some stuff. We're going to debrief him. And we'll just see what we got quickly. So magnetized ferrite, horax, or her, her rocks. Uh, more units. Uh, let's see here. That's about it. So, some magnetized ferry and a couple of those, and a whole bunch of units. So, let's go ahead and see if we can't send them out again. We, I did pick up um, some dihydrogen jelly, which we can refine into dihydrogen. So, if we need more fuel, we can always get more fuel. But these guys don't actually use that much fuel, oddly enough. So, some other ones like expeditions and stuff generally do, but these ones are pretty good. So let's see our potential routes. Uh, still got a mining level of three. Um, yeah, you see, I don't want to send them out to a mining level three, like a level two maybe, but they're not quite at that skill level just yet. So I'm not sure if I should just try sending it out and hope for the best or what. So, but we do have a couple different options for the combat. Um, probably send them out on the longer one. And that gives us a fleet rating of two. Alright, so that's good. Um, as far as the other one though, that's two hours. Lots could go wrong with that. Um, the other one we sent out was three hours, but they're pretty capable of doing that. I'm not sure if I want to do that honestly but I don't think we're gonna have much of a choice otherwise so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna send them out anyways and if it gets damaged then we can repair it and call them back but call them back and repair it but um yeah I will just have to kind of do that I think until he's leveled up a little bit more okay uh, we have some ships to repair as well um, I found a couple of them last episode so we're gonna need to repair some of these uh, there's that one over there there's uh, this one which I don't think I really want to keep I'll probably just scrap it there's no parts of the engines or anything I want for them not even the tail end really and then I got a couple shuttles as well so we need to repair all these up today and we'll probably explore a planet too so let's start with this one and see what we need to do.
So before we get started with exploring, I wanted to basically add a couple um, additional storage. We have a couple slots that we can basically go ahead and add to. So I was thinking about, um, we'll apply one there and then we'll apply this one here for our tech slot. And I was just going through our inventory for our storage and stuff and noticed that we had a couple bulkheads that we could basically do that with. Um, we have four of those um, storage accommodation things for the um, freighters. What's this? F-wing engine. Oh. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Um, yeah, so we actually already have the engine type we want. We have the cockpit. I just need wings uh, for the, um, what do you call it, the, the hauler. So we'll probably do that um, in the near future as well. But um, in the meantime, I was just going through the inventory and just seeing what we had in that particular one. But I'll save quickly. I scrapped down all those ships except for the one that I wanted to keep. Uh, I do need to give it a name just so it's a little bit easier to know which one's which um so i'm going to call this one uh, let's see here it's a class a um how many slots does it have it has it doesn't actually say how many slots uh we could always go with uh let's see here a31 yeah we could do an a31 and uh, for the ID code, A31. We can always add more slots to to change the ID. Um, and then we'll go ahead and give it a name. So we'll just call it shuttle. Uh, I think that's how you spell shuttle. <laughs> Let's just go out and quickly and take a look at it. Yeah, two two T's. So. Uh, yeah, so I spelled that correctly. And this one, we don't actually have a name for this either, so I'm going to quickly give this one a name. I'm not sure how many slots we have on it. Uh, 25, it's a class C, so we'll do C25. And then we'll do Fighter. Perfect. All right. Just so we know which ones are which when we scrap machine or the shuttles and stuff down. All right. So now. Alright, so I'm currently trying to find, uh, I think we have one more cave creature, underwater, underground, yeah, so uncommon, underground, and we found pretty much everything outside of the water creatures, so uh, we just need to find that one underground creature and then we'll get, how much? 3,000 3, nanites, which isn't too bad uh, for the amount of creatures that are on this planet, ouch. Um, 
Yeah, so I've just been driving around and trying to find cave systems and stuff like that. Um, there might be one over there. We'll need to get... Not sure if that's going to give us carbon. Yeah. Okay, so we'll need to charge that up. So let's head on down here. Let's go ahead and remove that. Um, can I even reach that? There we go. Okay, we'll see if we can't find the creature in here. Oh, there's some more of those things. Try to remove them when I when I see them because they do produce toxic gas. But thought that might have been a rock. All right, so let's see in here. I'm trying to scan other things as well. This is actually a pretty big cave. We might be able to find something in here. Okay, so those guys are here. Got something scanned over there already. Well, we'll see if we can't find it. Uh, yeah, I've, I found that one over at that other base, uh, that base that we came from. But this is a really big cave, so we might be able to find the other one. Oh, there it is, right there. And it just went through the wall. <laughs> Okay, so now we just need to go for a swim and uh, find the other creature, uh, other two fish that are out there. So if I can make my way back to the ship, that would be um, good. We'll fly out to the deep ocean and go for a toxic dive or radioactive dive because this is a radioactive planet. So I think I'm going in the right direction. I sure hope I am. guys so we got quite a bit of stuff done today we found all those creatures and i rearranged the base just a little bit uh this side hasn't changed too much so we got uh some red lights in here just to kind of give it some extra ambient 
lighting and stuff like that. I like it with the, the cargo rooms. It looks very industrial-like with red, so that's what I tried to do. But there is actually some natural lighting in here from the uh, ceiling, so it kind of dims it. Um, not as red as I would like it, but, you know. It would be nice to actually be able to control the lights for the freighter rooms and have it built in and change the color that way, but... I don't know, if the devs see this, then that would be pretty cool. Uh, for the other room here, I had the two um, things, the uh, command centers. And I moved this all over one one block, I think. Yeah, and I've rearranged the garden a little bit too. Now there's eight plots, one for each plant. So we have the star bulbs and all the other ones. Um, all the way up to here so we have these uh, ones there those ones these ones and those ones so we'll have an additional crops when we need it and I just figured we'll probably like a little garden here so I also put some trees in just to kind of decorate it a little bit more and I got some hanging vines and stuff up there and I've gone with like green lights though again with the natural lighting it doesn't really do much for the coloring but uh, put a trade terminal in and this way we can buy things locally as well. So we have 13 of these. I'm just stocking up on navigation data too. Um, they were selling some of that. So I thought I would put some in our savings. And we can maybe buy some extra maps next episode. And try to find some shuttles or other starships. But outside of that if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and i will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out